Alright guys, now we're back with a beer from the Lost Abbey, brewed from Toronado, so we're kind of going Toronado, uh, beers from different breweries, and this is uh, Cable Car, the original 2007 batch of Cable Car, hence there being no year on the front of the label. Uh, so 7% uh, American Wild Ale, and uh, I don't know how old this is now, I think they're up to Cable Car uh, 2013, so yeah, it has some years to it, but uh, pours out. Very, very light carbonation. Um, let's get the aroma on it. A lot of like uh, nice lemony tartness, like lemon, lime, like slight like orangey citrus notes. Got definitely a lot of like sweeter stone fruits in there. Peach, apricot, big time. Some oaks present in there. So uh, it smells great. Let's dig in. Cheers. Nice rounded beer, it's mellowed out nicely, balanced out. Falls the nose really well. A lot of stone fruit, lemon, sort of lime, citrus, orange notes to it. Um, the oak's present on the finish. A little more funk though on the uh, on the taste. It's more of that wet hay, um, wet wood type of note, kind of basement type of character so yeah it's a really really good American Wild Ale maybe not the best of the cable cars but this is the only one I haven't reviewed yet so if you want to check out what I think about the rest of the uh, cable cars except for the 2013 check out that video and the 2013 is excellent as well but you know 09 and uh, 11 are probably still my favorites for the cable car series that Lost Abbey has done so it's gonna wrap this one up until next time cheers I'd be a little like cautious right about now. sticking. So this is a Bellevue Gaze yeah, be... from, we're guessing, 79. late 70s, early 80s. All right, let's stop pussyfooting around this. Let's get the helmet, the helmet. Yeah, yeah. I, what are we going right. to do? How are we going to attack this? Yeah, no, I, I, I want to see it in the helmet. I've shredded too many corks like that. It still needs to be moved, though, because just with CO2 pressure, it's not going to break like the seal. It mm. needs to be like cracked. I mean, that's like pretty moldy, before pushing it out. Musty. I smell horse shit, actually, coming up. I'm like, oh. oh wait, no, that's the muscles. Sorry. Yeah. Chris, uh, we were talking. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. Here's how we're attacking we this. Think, Chris, we think we need the forks down the side to get it maybe loosened up a little. Somebody put on some daft pump. Exactly. Daft pump. As if it's really kicked in there and you can actually little space, I mean, you might put a hole in your ceiling. So rad. <laughs> after the after the corkage that uh, came out of the uh, the Cantillon earlier, we got to take oh, this yeah. a little more serious. <laughs> head down. Brian doesn't like hurt. His head down. <laughs> well, it won't. Ex hopefully, it won't explode doing that. But if we have to get the CO2 out, should I back up? <laughs> yeah. Until it breaks. Probably. Oh, I All thought right. you were gonna use. Well, no. You know what? <laughs> you just wanna, just break the seal. Oh, I see. On the inside. Yeah. So I say about an of a time and... Wait, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> we don't understand you underneath the helmet. <laughs> a little muffled. A little muffled. Yeah, it was a muffled <laughs> <laughs> All right, time to back up. Oh! Oh! There it is! That's how it's supposed to work. That's the way. Oh, there's, there there's carbonation. Awesome. Yeah, there is. There's that carbonation. Right. Yeah. Woo! It's, it's not blowing up. There we go. Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs>